In this video, we're going to use StackCrunch and the normal distribution to do a probability question. We're going to focus on number three. So it says a vending machine pours soda into cups. The amount of soda dispensed is normally distributed with a mean of 7.6 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.4. Part A is asking for the probability that the machine will overflow an 8 ounce cup. So it's asking for a probability and it's telling us that the soda dispensed is normally distributed. So those two things together tell us that we should use the normal distribution. So you go over here to StatCrunch and you click on Stat, then you go to Calculators, and then you want to go down to where it says Normal. So I'm going to left click here on Normal. So again, it's Stat, Calculators, and then you want to go down here to where it says Normal. So when you left click on Normal, you get this beautiful graph. That's the graph of the normal distribution. And then we want to enter the mean and standard deviation. So the mean in this problem was 7.6. And the standard deviation was 0.4. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. So the mean was 7.6. And the standard deviation is 0.4. Pretty easy. Part A, what is the probability that the machine will overflow an 8-ounce cup? So if X denotes the amount of soda that's coming out, and we want to overflow an 8-ounce cup, we have to have more than 8 ounces come out. So greater than 8. So about 0.16. So the answer is 0.16. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. So 0.16, just so we have it for reference. And that was the answer to part A. Okay, part B. What is the probability that the machine will not overflow an 8-ounce cup? So not overflow means that less than 8 ounces has to come out. So the answer to part B is 0.84. So you change this to less than, and you get 0.84. Again, part A says overflow. So if it's going to overflow, that means more than 8 ounces has to come out. So we change it to greater than, we plug in the 8, and then we click Compute, and the answer shows up here in this box. Not overflow, you pick less than, and the answer shows up in this box. All right, now the hard part. If the machine is loaded with 858 ounce cups, what is the expected number of cups that will overflow? Your answer should be an integer. So we have 850 cups, and we want to know how many of these cups will overflow. Well, from part A, we know that the probability that the machine will overflow an 8 ounce cup is 0.16. So what does that mean? That means that 16% of the cups will overflow. So 16% of 850. So 16% of 850. Of means multiply. So all you do is you multiply 0.16 times 850. So I don't have a calculator here, but I do have StatCrunch. So I'll do it with StatCrunch. You go to Data, Compute, and Expression. So it's Data, Compute, and Expression. And this is a, a cheesy calculator. <laughs> uh, so 16% of 850. So 0.16 and of means multiply in math. So 16% times 850. Then you click Compute. And boom, there it is, 136 cups. So the answer to part C is 136. Again, the machine is loaded with 850 cups. You want to know how many will overflow. From part A, you know that 16% overflow. So you go to data, compute, and expression. And then you enter 16% of 850. And then you click compute. And boom, there it is, 136 cups will overflow. Sounds like a pretty bad uh, vending machine. I hope this helps.